Hi, I'm Zach Rizendis, and I have been an illustrator. Oh, all right. I am originally from the south coast of Massachusetts. I uh, grew up in a small town, Marion, and Mattapoiset. Uh, I graduated in college back in 2007 with a bachelor's in graphic design and, well, yeah, bachelor's in graphic design. 2010, I got married to my wife, Kathy. Uh, also that year, I went to the Joe Cooper School in, down in New Jersey. That was an incredible time. I came back in 2011, and there we, and then I had my, well, we had our son, Zach, who is now four, and he's absolutely amazing. Huge geek through and through. And I am now a professional comic book illustrator. Thank you. How did you survive New Jersey? Uh, with a lot of, uh, I survived New Jersey with a lot of perseverance. I uh, only went to school and back to the apartment, and uh, that was basically it. Uh, it I drew from 7 o'clock, 7.15 in the morning to about 12 o'clock in the morning. So it, it was a lot, it was very time consuming, but it was like the best experience I've ever had. Probably the best year I've ever had. The driving is lousy. What is being a wife and a father like? Uh, it's it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I wouldn't trade it in for the world. Uh, my wife is absolutely awesome. She's fully supportive. I would not be sitting here doing what I'm doing without her. Uh, my son is just this amazing little person. It's interesting seeing him grow up and take all these interests. He's very much into art so far, and he's very capable of doing whatever he wants to do. He's, he's intelligent. He's loving. Um, yeah, I wouldn't trade him for anything. Really, it's 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 mind blowing. I love it. Well, the Ninja Turtles basically, to me, uh, they help set my life, <laughs> uh, both uh, artistically and uh, as a person. Uh, being sick, I always grew up with them. Uh, I had speech problems being epileptic, and then I ended up taking uh, martial arts while I was a Ninja Turtle fan, and that's how I became uh, more physical, and I learned how to actually move that way, learn how to walk and everything. Uh, the turtles themselves, I've grown up with them, I absolutely love them. They influenced me almost in every single way when it comes to my art. Um, I'm just a huge fan ever since the 80s, basically. <laughs> the surrounding itself actually, I don't know, I just feel it's a feeling. It feels more like I'm supposed to be doing it up here. You know, it, it's I can't really describe it other than that. It, it just feels like this is my spot where I'm supposed to kind of expand and get to know people and um, really focus more. To be a, a comic book illustrator, you have to tell a story visually. Uh, so if you draw Batman jumping from uh, building to building and then crashing through a window to pick up a kid. Uh, you're supposed to know, okay, he sees a kid, uh, he has to go save him, time is of the essence, you have to take care of business. Actually, the way that we describe it, the way that I see it, is the artist draws in the people with the cover, describes the images, what uh, you, the emotion behind the character, what the character's thinking, and describes the scene. It's the artist's job to actually make the scene. So the artist is the costume designer, the set designer, the, uh, the makeup artist, uh, everything visually. We are the directors and it's the writer is the writer. And it's all the inner monologue uh, that keeps the reader there is what I find is the writer's part to help make things flow from one page to the next that complements the writing is my job. So that, that's basically a long answer. So, how does living with a disability impact your work? Um, well, right off the bat, when I was in high school and junior high, I was always getting sick, so uh, having seizures all the time. So, I was able to draw, uh, like, I think I was drawing like 14 hours a day, every day. And so, I got to hone my skills that way. And I, it, it made it so, I had a passion for it. Actually, I 
sent in a picture of Spider-Man and Carnage to Marvel, and you know, just so they can see it. And uh, I ended up getting a letter back saying, uh, "Sorry, but you have to graduate high school first before you can come work with us." So uh, they said, "After you're done, um, here's a slip for a uh, internship." I, I didn't go after high school, and I'm kind of glad I didn't college, but um, we probably would have been anyways. One of the teachers said at Cooper School, who, uh, raise your hand if you actually sent in uh, pictures to Marvel at DC. Everybody raise their hand. And and the teacher's like, okay, raise your hand if you actually got a response. Nobody else raised their hand. It was funny. Uh, what's that shirt you have on right now? Uh, this is my comic book. Uh, one of my comic books is called Adam it's actually originally based off an old band I used to have. Uh, we were just messing around with it. And then uh, in college, I decided to actually run with it. And uh, a book about a, it's not the actual government. It's more like a giant corporation that has uh, taken over, at least it's showing one city, but it is the world. Basically, every single conspiracy theory plays together, but I edited out a lot, but it places me, because it's you know, based off of me and my friends, and, and all of my group reacting to this big giant uh, corporation that has basically rounded up everybody and said, don't worry, we got this, took away all the weapons, subdued them and everything, and then now it's all completely overthrown and now this small band of people, us, is now trying to open up the eyes of everybody. This is also going to lead into a, another comic book which is also based off of a true story, well based off a natural person. Uh, his name was Tim. He served two tours in Iraq. He was a personal friend of my writer. Uh, and he served two tours and he came back and died in a motorcycle accident. So he was also a very big comic book geek and he wanted to be part of the comic. And so my writer wrote him in and it's going to deal with the Greek mythology because he's totally into that. You know, Tim was as well, so we're going to play off of that. Will we ever see a comic book movie win uh, an Oscar for Best Picture? Yeah, I think so. Under the proper direction, yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, there's a lot of you know, a lot of indie stuff. It's very powerful, and even mainstream stuff. I mean, uh, as long as you touch on the human side, yes. 